In this video, let's talk about real estate investment trusts or REITs. How can you make money off of them? What are they? What's the benefit if you invest in REITs? How can you get a hold of them? Check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, smash that bell so you get updated every time I create new content about the stock market. Hey guys, so over the past few days and weeks and months, I've been getting a lot of questions about what are real estate investment trusts, what are REITs, how can you get a hold of them, and how can you actually start investing in them. But before I go into that, let me give you first a breakdown on what it actually is. So full disclosure, also I've been investing in REITs for quite some time now, not just in Philippine markets because it's not yet available in the Philippines. The only way as of today, as of this video, for you to be able to invest in real estate investment trusts is to do it outside the countries, for you to do it under other exchanges or other markets. So please do note that REITs have been available in so many countries, so many exchanges already for years. It's just that the Philippines is just catch catching up as of this point in time to create and allow other people to invest in it. So what exactly is REITs and why do I like them? REITs basically is a hybrid. It's your exposure for a lot of people are not investors in the real estate market. A lot of people are not investing in real estate. But if you want the flexibility and the ability to have exposure in the real estate market without buying the physical property itself, that's where REITs can help you. REITs is a proxy. It's a hybrid of you getting money off properties, off real estate without buying the tangible condo, without buying the apartment, without even constructing it by your own. So what 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 are REITs exactly? REITs is also a paper asset. It's just like you buying stocks. It's just like you buying other assets that are that you can buy via an online broker, via an online platform. The main difference of the main narrative is if you buy REITs, you're not buying the entire company, but you are buying the property that they are putting under a REIT. So a REIT could be a mall, it could be a hospital, it could be a data center, it could be a hotel. So what does that mean? For example, SM. SM creates a REIT for SM Mega Mall. As they create a REIT for SM Mega Mall, the main narrative of REITs is that around 90% or a large chunk of the operational income would be given out to investors as a source of dividends. So these are for people who think about it it's just like you buying a condo and then using uh, the proceeds of it to earn from rental income the, the nice thing about that is this if you own a condo you would have to find people who would rent it out for you you would have to maintain it you would have to create the framework that what if the tenant would leave you would need to find new tenants as well or what if uh, there are complaints that there's a leak there's something that needs fixing you would have to manage it on your own uh, a REIT gives you exposure if it's SM Megaball the rental income that uh, the customers the tenants would have for the rental spaces for that entire mall all of the headache of managing it and maintaining it would be shouldered by SM but percentages of the income would be given as form of dividends and what I like about it is uh, REITs normally give a higher amount of dividends as compared to common stock because the main goal of this, you know, the main reason why people actually go uh, for REITs is the dividends that they would get from it. So if you are a person that would want a higher rate of return in, to, in terms of cash flow, as you all know, you can get cash flow from common shares, the dividends of common shares, you can get cash flow from preferred shares, you can get cash flow from bonds. But from what I've seen and in my experience that you would get a higher yield, you would get a higher rate of return uh, from REITs as well. In my experience, if you are earning from the cash flow that you would get from the dividends brought about by the income of the company, there is also a way for you to earn via capital appreciation. Let me show you also from this video uh, three different types of REITs where they're exposed and then how you can also get a hold of it. Now look at this. One way for you to be able to buy REITs is to open an account with eToro. As you open an account with eToro, they have three REITs that you can actually buy and these three REITs gives you exposure uh, to the underlying assets that are 
attached to it. As what I've mentioned earlier, you can earn via capital appreciation and you can earn via the dividends and it would give you based on operational income that the property itself would earn. So over the past weeks, we've been showing you alternatives on how you can invest and how you can also trade the markets. I've featured different ways now using eToro on how you can buy US stocks for $50 on what are CFDs. For this video, I'm going to show you and highlight how you can actually be exposed in REITs by using the eToro platform. Please remember, this is one of the easiest ways for you to be able to have exposure to REITs even if you are in the Philippines and not opening an account overseas. Please remember, uh, we still have not seen a disclosure yet to have REITs in the Philippines. We've been seeing news that it should have been rolled out a few uh, months ago but until now it has not been rolled out yet so the best way for you to have exposure the best way for you to at least have exposure to REITs is to uh, get an ETF that's exposed to uh, REITs as well for those who don't know what ETFs are I've made several videos on what ETFs are so basically what eToro will do is it allows you to buy ETFs that are exposed to REITs and in the same way this now gives you exposure to markets that are away from the Philippines that have exposure to REITs as well. So this is just instant diversification. So let me show you at least two REITs and so you have at least an inkling on what they are. The first one is SUSRT. If you notice it, very, very simple. You just have to click uh, the, the ticker or the code of it and everything will come out there. So since US, uh, since eToro is also a social media platform that allows you to actually see, see more and more details about, uh, about trading, you get to see a lot of the inputs and data of a lot of people talking about this particular uh, REIT. So just so you know also, this is iShares Core US REIT ETF. So it's an index composed of US real estate equities, US RT include specialized uh, REITs, retail REITs, residential REITs, office REITs. So basically, this is an ETF that covers a, a bunch of REITs uh, from from retail, residential, and office REITs. So this not only diversifies you uh, in the U.S. markets, but it also diversifies you to different uh, types of REITs as well. So uh, what's nice about that also is you get to see uh, its price movement and how it's actually uh, done quite well over a very, very uh stretch period of time so over the past six months it's been pretty much up from 51 to 56 us dollars then if you look at it all the way since 2018 it has appreciated much then let me zoom in even more if i stretch it out even further you would see that uh, from 2017 all the way to where we are right now uh us rt has appreciated in value Another another REIT that I could explain to you or another ETF REIT that I could suggest that you can get by the e, uh, eToro platform is RWR. Uh, this is the Spider Dow Jones REIT ETF, same thing. Uh, this one also gives you access to uh, different REITs uh, via an ETF as well. If you notice it, uh, pretty much it's also in an uptrend it's similar to uh, the other stocks uh, that I've mentioned. REITs do well over the long term, especially if you're in it also for the dividends that you could possibly get from it as well. So that's it. So similar to what I've shown you also over the previous videos, it's quite simple for you to be able to buy and sell uh, this ETF REIT via the eToro platform. All you have to do is just press trade. Then you can also design what kind of leverage that you want. Please remember also when you do use leverage, uh, it also adds a bit of risk to you as well. So the higher the leverage, the higher the risk, the lower the leverage, the lower the risk. So for this one, I'll just use uh, X a just a times two uh, leverage for this. Then you can also designate the amount that you want. Say you want to put just $500 for this, uh, then that's it. You just have to press open trade then you're done. Similar to the other videos that I made, please remember it only takes 50 US dollars for you to be able to buy ETFs that gives you exposure 
to REITs. You all know what ETFs are. It allows you to invest in funds. It allows you to invest in other indices. It allows you to invest in other assets. With you buying the ETF as some sort of mutual fund that's managed, that's passive. And so if you want exposure, say to the S&P 500, you want exposure to the Dow Jones, buying an ETF gives you the ability to have exposure in them without you buying the individual stocks in it. So the main difference also, just to segment it as well, if you buy SM Prime stock, you own the entire company that SM Prime has under the company. But if you just buy the REIT, you are only exposed to whatever asset that they would place in the REIT as well. So if you'd like to compare REITs and investing directly in the real estate market, the pros and cons are for REITs, you just need a very, very small amount. If you invest in a condo, a property, a house, a piece of land, you need a larger amount of money, you need to take out a loan. For REITs also, uh, if there's one vacancy in a condo, a hotel, or a property because there are a lot of units attached to that corporation, it doesn't really hurt your cash flow. If you have an apartment, you have a condo, the difference is if someone leaves, you, it will affect your cash flow as well. Advantages of REITs also is it's very, very liquid, meaning I can buy today and sell it tomorrow versus real estate. It's relatively harder to be able to find a buyer and a seller for it. So it's not as liquid as compared to REITs. Number four, it's something that's very, very, very passive because it's not you managing the property. It's not you managing the company anymore, but you are just getting residual income from the uh, operational income that they would give in form of dividends as compared to you operating it in and of itself. I guess one of the biggest advantages though of on the flip side buying your own property, buying your own condo, is you control everything. If you go to a REIT, you don't control it, you're just like a silent investor. But if you buy your own property, you control the marketing, you control how, how you want to spend in terms of the materials that you would put in that condo and that apartment as well. So this is something, in my opinion, very, very good for people already who are in the markets because you already know how the markets work. You already know how supply and demand would work. You already know how markets would move up and down. So in essence, it's just easy for you to shift the perspective that instead of you just buying stocks, you now open yourself to another dimension, another asset class. Instead of you just buying a company, you now get exposure to condos, hotels, apartments, hospitals, etc. Anything that can be given out as rental income can be a form of REIT. Number five advantage of REIT is basically diversification. As what I've mentioned earlier, you can have a REIT that also exposes you to hotels. And there are REITs, like for example, an Ascot REIT exposes you not just to one hotel, but all of the Ascots around the world. So meaning you can't just buy one REIT, but, already, but it already exposes you to residual income from the different Ascots around the world as well. So it's instant diversification. That's one advantage already that you're not just pinned down by one geographical location. Did you guys like the video? Did you guys learn a lot? Comment read if you want to know how you can open an account with eToro so you can invest in REITs, so you can invest in other markets as well. So it gives you the ability to not just invest, by the way, in REITs, but it also gives you the ability to invest in ETFs as well. So I guess that's it for now. If you want to know more about REITs, comment that word REITs and I'll send you the link on how you can open an account and how you can invest in REITs as well. So that's it for now. Marvin Germo giving you more and more options on how you can invest, not just in the stock market, but in other asset classes, in other markets as well, with one goal in mind. I just really want you to win. I just really want you to reach your goals of financial freedom. I just really want you, what, no matter what your background is, no matter what your social economic class is, no matter what you've studied in college, no matter what your current job or business is now, you can use the financial markets to help you reach your goals of financial freedom. You can use the financial markets to help you win because it's possible. The internet has changed everything. The internet has given us an ability to be able to make money even if we are in the Philippines, even if we are far from the other markets, the internet has equalized everything that now you can trade and you can win. And REITs is one of them. So this is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you. Trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon guys and God bless you all.